push the motors. I don't know if it can blow up or not, but I'm pretty sure it can, like the other ones. Uh, there's the island. Keep going. And... <laughs> Pull up. Oh, that's cool. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again with another update. So it seems like Friday is a hotbed for updates when it comes to Stormworks. And today we have something that is very, very cool. So we've been checking out some advanced crafts recently and they've added another engine type. We finally have a jet engine in Stormworks. So I do have an example behind me here that we're gonna try out. Uh, this is just a brand new update, like it literally just came out like a couple hours ago. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new parts to make new advanced engines, including the jet here. So you can pretty much count this as a creations episode. I'll have the creations linked down in the description. Uh, we will be checking out a ton of different advanced planes, but we will be starting off here with the update. Now, I will leave uh, the damage on, the engine explosions, and all that, just in case we get a plane crash here or there. But I'm going to try not to crash today. My goal is to fly advanced creations. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for future Stormworks episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. Oh boy, I am excited. We're actually gonna have jet fighters in the game. Now this is pretty sweet. No telling what other people are gonna do with like the jets, but first thing I thought of was, yes, we can have fighters. Now we don't have weapons in Stormworks, but that's no big deal at the moment. Uh, I just wanna be able to fly something really fast. So we have given a little bit of love to the advanced creations, not too much. So that's why I wanna use today to also showcase some more advanced uh, flying creations opposed to the ships. Now, this is a uh, pretty interesting. This is the example one. Let's go ahead and climb in. All right, so we are in a jet. They need an ejector seat. Like that looks like the handle, I believe, that they pull down on. Like you, I think you pull that forward and pull back on that, and you should shoot at the top. That would be cool. But we also need uh, parachutes. All right, canopies down. Oh boy. I can only imagine the workshop's gonna go pretty crazy with these. Uh, afterburner, ooh, I like that. Landing gear, starter, okay, throttle, pretty simple, so starter. Oh, listen to that! That's cool, okay, so jet engines are started. Uh, are we ready to go? Are we, uh, landing gears? Okay, it says it's off, but let's go ahead. Ooh! Oh, <laughs> oh yes! That is cool! Okay, so... Are there brakes on right now? Is that a thing? Oh, let's try going. Are we rolling? Okay. No. No. No, oh, jeez! Oh, okay, okay. Pull back, pull back! Oh, dear! That would, uh, that went from zero to hero really quick. Oh, check that out! That's so cool! Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, pull landing gear back. Oh, that is fast! Oh, we're gonna have jet boats. We're gonna have other fighters, probably really big planes. Anything that you can stick a jet on it, we'll probably have. Maybe even commercial planes, like big commercial airliners. Oh man, that's sweet. All right, so this is a basic plane. I see our fuel. There's our RP. Oh, are we going down to the ground? Can't really tell. Oh, the e yeah, we are. All right, so can this thing overheat? Is there a uh, something I should know about that? Actually, not. Let's hit the afterburner. Uh, afterburners are on. Oh, you can hear it picking up speed. Check that out. Oh, this is a really maneuverable plane. Now, I know they've uh, adjusted quite a bit on the aerodynamic model, too, uh, with this update. It's not just parts and a, uh, a new engine. Uh, they've made some, whoa, improvements. That's really cool. Whoa, we can really spin this. Uh-oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, one of the landing gears just popped back on. on counter, counter. Oh, man. You know, there's no pressure for them to put, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a little bit, to put some sort of weapons in here eventually. I would say that's probably, should be fairly far down the list, but it would be pretty cool to see some weapons on here, maybe do some multiplayer dogfighting. Uh, that would be a thing. But of course, there's uh, quite a bit other things I think that should probably come first. Actually, what do these look like at night? I bet these look fantastic. Hold on, let's go, boom. 
Oh, yes. That is awesome. So, we got the afterburners kicked on. Uh, fuel canopy. All right. Oh, well, let's go. Let's climb up. We're going to go straight vertical here. All right. Let's go ahead and change the, uh, the sun back real quick. Oh, there we go. Man, how do you land one of these things? I'm assuming they glide quite a bit. Uh... Yeah, I want to say, yeah, I want to say we might be due for a little bit bigger runway, because I know I probably can't land this. All right, so we are climbing. We are well above the clouds. We are so high up right now. All right, let's go ahead, go up, and here we go. We are gonna rock it to the ground here. Oh boy, picking up speed. Oh, we are burn. Oh, it's probably the afterburner. We're burning a ton of fuel here. All right, keep going. Uh, let's push it. Let's push the motors. I don't know if it can blow up or not, but I'm pretty sure it can, like the other ones. Uh, there's the island. Keep going. And... <laughs> Pull up. Oh, that's cool. I like that trail that it leaves, too. Woo, I like this update a lot, huh? Let's turn off the afterburners real quick. See if we can... Is that making a difference, or is it just the whole fact that I'm, like, full throttle right now? I don't know. All right, we probably need to plot back to base because I have a couple other planes to check out today. But, man, that, uh, the jets, that has me, uh, really, really excited. All right, we're going to go straight vertical over the island, and we're just going to dive into it here. All right, here we go. Uh, keep going. This is amazing. And rotate. Okay, here we go. Woo! This is awesome. All right, afterburners are on. I think we can actually land. I don't think so. Uh, like I said, the brakes uh, brakes are going to be an issue here. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah, this is perfectly acceptable. All right. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Okay, we're back in the air. That's fine. That's uh, the way I thought this was going to go. All right. I should probably try to stop rotating here and go back down. Yeah, this might be the time where you got to tell yourself it's uh, time to bail. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the canopy button's locked. No! Okay, kill it. Kill it. Kill the jet. Kill it. Does that kill it? Hold on. Throttle down. Oh, the throttle's broken too. Wow, I think we're perma screwed right here. Until it runs out of fuel. We're going into space, folks. What happens when I jump out? Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Yep. Folks, I don't think we're going to be landing this one anytime soon. We're just, uh, we're going to have been outer space right now because this is fine. This is the way I thought this should turn out. All right, I really hope I can figure this thing out. So this is the B-25. Uh, there's no real instructions on how to start this thing up. A lot of the advanced creations do have like a really long instruction list. Uh, but the workshop did have a small video of the creator actually starting this thing up. So I think we'll be good. So what we have here, uh, you've got your board. This will be where your electrical breakers are uh, to turn it on and off. I'm assuming this is the navigator here. Uh, let's go and go back. I think we're traveling over the bomb bay doors. Yeah, there's your bombs. Uh, maybe this is radio operator back here. Uh, looks like we've got a tail gunner. There should be a, a bubble gunner, or I think it's a top gunner. I think the bubble's the bottom. Oh, uh, yeah, there's your top gunner. He looks ready to go. <laughs> All right, we can climb up through here. So, electrical breakers. Let's go ahead and turn those on. So... We should have some battery, but those are probably not charging, so I'm assuming we need to turn the engines up. I think your starters are right here, so we'll go boom, and let it start up, okay, and boom. Okay, so the engines are idling right now, so are they staying? Oh yeah, they're staying on. It's maybe a little hard for you guys to hear it, but they are idling at the moment, so let's go ahead and turn on some brakes real quick. And let's go ahead and give it a little bit of throttle to get them spinning up. Okay. Actually, we probably need to roll out of this hangar. We're turning sideways for some reason. Not really sure. There's no wind on. All right, so let's see if we can... Uh, hold on. Let's release these brakes real quick. Actually, I think the brakes might just work only while touching it. Okay. 
That's how that works. Okay, so that'll actually help us turn here. All right, so I can assure you that the plane's not on fire right now. It's just the way the exhaust is. Uh, I say it's a little aggressive, but hold on, let's go ahead and get this thing turned. All right, so we're clear of the hangar, right? Sweet. All right, so can we turn on everything else without killing the, the engines? Uh, oh, oh, didn't mean to hit the starter again. My bad. All right, so I think we're good to go here. So what we need to do, we're going to turn left by using the brakes here. So if you hit one brake, you'll turn it one way. You hit the other brake, it turns the other. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a little bit more throttle here. There we go. I'm nervous here, folks, because if we crash this, we die. <laughs> All right, so we're turning. So we're going to want to go with the one key, and that turns everything up to full and then we want to pitch up so I think we got this all right we're almost turned to the runway uh, we'll throttle up and get going that thing is beautiful really like the way this uh, plane looks all right so almost ready it's only gonna take me 20 more seconds I'm being careful here all right we're lined up good enough I think we're ready for takeoff so let's go and go engines all the way uh, okay so that's gonna pull back on the flaps is this is that up or down okay that's up okay oh oh that was beautiful that was an absolutely glorious looking takeoff that made me look somewhat good not really though wow that was cool okay so are we up full throttle okay so engines are powered fully all right let's go ahead and level it off a bit so i need to get the landing gear up feels a little heavy on the front so let's see landing gear uh, let's see, positional lights, slides, uh, it's Bombay, landing gear, there we go, so let's click that, landing gear, uh, for some reason I can't click that button, is that stuck, uh oh, oh, no, 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 pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, okay, bandit, oh, I just died, I died, so, oh, I shouldn't have jumped out of the seat, when we impacted the water, I slammed against the front of the plane, Wow, that was the quickest flight I've ever had. I feel bad about that. All right, let's get it back. What the heck just happened? All right, we're taking off straight from the hangar this time. Komodo took his eyes off the prize there. Okay, so, I don't know. It feels like the front end wants to tip down quite a bit on the plane. So, let's see if we can... I wonder if I should release the bombs. And get rid of those quick. Maybe that's the added weight that's making the plane tip forward. Uh, ooh, you can somewhat see the advanced engine up there. All that piping, uh, the blue, the reds, that's cool looking. Alright, so it flies really good, actually. Uh, let's see if we can just try to turn it here. There we go. Uh, gotta get used to it. It's actually fairly fast feeling, too. Uh, can we release some bombs? I kind of want to release those. Is there a button from inside that I can do it, or do I have to actually click it? Okay, oh, there go the bombs! Woo! No, 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 no! Yeah, as soon as I release the, uh, the flaps, like, this thing just nosedives. Okay, there we go. Bombs are gone. They're gonna hit the water. I wonder how I can fix it. Is it the landing gear, possibly? Hold on, let's go up. Okay, let's see if we can try to make this thing... Okay, landing gears. Okay, those are going up. Okay, let's see. Now, you got to be pretty attentive to this thing, because if not, it, it does feel like it wants to try to tip a little bit. Uh, but nonetheless, a very cool-looking plane. Now, question is, am I going to do damage to this thing if I'm holding it wide open, or... I don't know which one of those is engine temp. I don't know, I think it's going to be okay. Alright, so I got the creative island back in sight. We're going to attempt a landing. Let's go ahead and start to lose a little bit of throttle here. There we go. Uh-oh, we are tipping up a little bit. Oh, let's try to stabilize the plane. Trying to keep the island in sight. Everything gets really foggy, and the draw distance isn't quite where I'd like it. That way I can actually see where I'm going. All right, so let's keep making a turn here. All right, so we're going to go in. Let's go and lose a little more throttle. Is actually, is it three or two? Okay, it's two. So let's go and lose a little more. Keep turning. All right, we're going to make a really big turn here. All right, where'd the island go? Ah, I kind of lost visual on it. No, that's not good. Okay, hold on. Let's start to go down. Come on, island. Come on, storm. There it is. Nope, that's not the right island, is it? 
I can't tell. No, the creative seat. Ah! I can't believe I didn't see that. All right, so that's my bad. Let's go ahead uh, and keep this thing up. Landing gear down. You know, if we can just land crossways, not even exactly with the runway. If I can just, if I can land on the piece of land out there, I'll be pretty satisfied with myself. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. So I'm going to need to be ready to engage the brakes. I'll hold five and six. Really wish I was lined up with that runway, but you know what? We're going to make this happen. Oh, boy. Uh, I do not have a lot of runway here. All right, here we go. Okay, throttle down. Uh, oh, buddy. All right. All right, throttle back all the way. Okay, let's go touchdown. Okay, let's apply the brakes. Oh, my. We didn't actually just... Wow. We did that. We did it. It was a sloppy landing at best. But we did it. We actually landed. We didn't die. That I don't know if I should be happy or disappointed there in myself. Ah, we've touched ground. We touched soil. Up, oh, it's still rolling. I don't You know what? We're just going to walk away from this situation. It's fine. All right, so the last one we're going to check out here is the Seaside Sprinter 2. So, one more advanced plane here to check out. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn this thing in. And, oh, that thing sets up off the ground pretty far. I don't think we'll be uh, dragging butt on this one, so... Oh, let's click that. What's this? Oh, connectors. Probably for maybe fuel and batteries. So, let's put that up there. Okay. All right. So, what do we got here? Port starter strobe. Uh, what's that? Brakes. Let's go and turn brakes on. Landing gear throttle. Prop collective. What the heck's that? Generator? Do we need to turn the generator on? Let's see. From what I've read, uh, the two... All that really needs to be on for the initial startup are these two uh, keys here, which those are on. So let's go ahead. Let's go... Uh, nope. Oh, let's see if we can get this thing to fire up. Okay. Okay, that was a fired. All right. So I'm assuming we need to throttle up here. Alright, does the uh, prop collective, I think it's at 100%. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the, I don't know, the clutch on the generator all the way. Okay, so there's your throttle, landing gear. It says landing gear is off? That looks to be on to me. Alright. Oh, we got this thing fired up pretty quick, actually. Uh, let's go ahead, can we turn on the lights or will it kill the plane? That looks good there. Alright, so let's taxi out here. I guess I can lower the throttle a bit and we'll release brakes. There we go. So we'll roll a bit faster. Alright, can I taxi? Oh yeah, no, I got this. Alright, so let's go here. Let's go ahead and apply those brakes. Put some throttle down. Probably about 15. Oh, don't die on me. Okay, don't die. Don't die. What's that sound? Was that a puff? Uh, is the front landing gear a little on the... Is that why it says it's off? Did I turn it off? Uh, nope, now that's off. Okay, uh, that's it's fine. Okay, so it's back on. Okay, that landing gear set's a little low. There's something up with the front one. Uh, do we still think we can take off? Might need to get clearance from the uh, air traffic control, but you know what? We're going to go for it because we're in it to win it here. Actually, we really can't do that because we're missing some uh, some props. Yep, we busted it already. All right, so we're going to go in it to win it here. Uh, we're just going to go all the way with it. Uh, we're going to go full throttle, and then we're going to release the brakes and see if we can just take off from the hangar here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that was beautiful. That took off really quick. All right, so now we can release the, uh, the landing gear. All right, so that folds up. I don't know, it seemed like the the first time the front landing gear just folded under itself. Oh, this thing's a little... Okay, hold on. Just stabilize it. Is there stabilization on this thing? Uh, hold on. Let's turn those lights back on. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, those are starters. No. Actually, no, it just stabilized. Wow, that's actually really good. Alright, so we're running. Thing looks okay. Wow, this thing is cool. Uh, let's go up here. All right, let's go ahead and kind of get over the water. It uh, it maneuvers like a dream. Like it is really, really maneuverable. 
Uh, it's not too aggressive though. It's, uh, you can definitely correct it really easy. What are those panels? Are those actual, uh, I think those are the logic uh, pieces, but they just stuck them on the top there. So I was always trying to wonder uh, what those panels were. Looks like you got some emergency escapes there. Uh, not bad. Oh, let's go ahead and keep turning. I really like this thing. I like it a lot. I'm right, turning back towards the island here. I don't wonder. Okay, so if I were to belly flop, like trying to land, say if we had a, a landing gear failure or something, would you still skid or would Stormworks, does the physics just grab the plane and try to instantly stop it? That's actually a good question that I think we're going to answer here. All right, so I think we've pretty much gone over most of the plane. A uh, very cool plane, very maneuverable, uh, very awesome because obviously it's in advanced mode. I've had no issues with this one, uh, except for the initial landing gear breaking, but I don't know if I may have clicked it or not. All right, so say we have to come in for an emergency landing here. So I would assume we would be going throttle back some. I don't want to stall it out. Uh, so is it going to grab or is it going to actually... I don't know. I'm actually kind of afraid here. Uh, let's get low. Uh, we're going to skid off. No, 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 no. Back on the throttle. Back on the throttle. There we go. All right. And let's go belly flop. Oh, it actually skids. Uh oh, oh. Yep, no, nope, but it stopped. It stopped pretty instant. I, I figured it would actually skid a lot further. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. It's kind of dancing. Uh, that held up really well, though. Probably have a little bit of damage to the front. Yeah, the nose has got a little damage. Broke off a couple props, but for the most part, that was a... We'll call that a successful emergency landing. My electronics are freaking out, of course. Uh, that's a thing, but that's fine. It's fine. Can we just... Uh, if I shut these down, will that, will that kill it? All right, I think that'll kill it. Uh, let's get out of here real quick. So, uh, wow, we haven't had, besides the first crash we had, we've actually been really safe today. Uh, can I stand in this? Uh, oh, yes, I can chop myself up in the blade because that's a thing, obviously. Actually, I think I'm getting stuck in it right now. Yep, I just died because of blades. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Got to check out the new update. They do have a lot of parts that I just didn't go through because, honestly, I'm not really much of a talented builder. Uh, but I do want to eventually kind of go through those so I wouldn't be able to really explain what was going on. But pretty minor, but I would say major update. It says minor update, but I think jet engines, that's pretty big for this game. So... Uh, I enjoyed it. This is very cool. I liked all the creations we saw here today. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Stormworks series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Stormworks.